Hey loves, welcome back. Today's video is a favorites video. Now the reason I'm so excited to bring this video to you guys is because number one, it's my first favorites video ever. And number two, if I had to pick one video that I will watch from all of my favorite beauty vloggers, it would be favorites. And the reason is because I feel like they're just like, how would I say it? I feel like they're like mini reviews on fire because you have a person talking about a few of their favorite things that they love. They're going to tell you everything about it from how it works, how much it costs, where to get it, um, what it does for them, how long they've been wearing it. And then you know for sure that if that person loves it, then it's something worth checking out. So um, today I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, about eight or nine different um, things to show you so if you're interested in seeing my August favorites stay tuned so I'm gonna get right into it my first favorite is my under eye powders now these are used for highlighting um, this one right here is the Ben Eye banana powder I've had this for a little while and at first I hated it because I did not know how to use it properly first of all my under eye gets pretty dry and it creases so I had to fix that problem first with the under eye cream and then once I did that this thing became my BFF now like everyone else I love to bake so what I do is I apply my concealer under my eyes and then I take a sponge and I will like not heavily but I put a generous amount under my eye and let it bake while I finish the rest of my face and then I'll wipe it away and it gives the perfect under eye highlight but when I don't have time to bake or use a powdery um, or a powder as my under eye setting powder, I love this. Now this I found in my collection of MAC products when I moved. And I didn't even know I had it. And it is from MAC. And it's literally called MAC Highlight Powder. Now, um, the f not the flavor. What? The shade is Golden Nectar. I don't know how long I've had this. I don't know... Well, I know I've had it for like under two years, but I don't know when I purchased this. I think I got it from a pro store, but I love it because you probably cannot see it. But if you can, it's like a really nice, smooth setting powder. And it has that yellow sort of, not even yellow, it's more of like a skin tone or a skin tone shade of um, a powder so it's perfect when I don't have time to bake or use like my Ben Eye powder um, under my eyes and let it do all that when I'm just in a quick rush and a hurry I love using this because this gives me the perfect under eye um, highlight or it sets my under eye perfectly and it complements my foundation so perfectly so I'm not sure like I said if Max still says this or sells this but this right here is the bomb but next, I'm going to talk about polishes. Now, I am absolutely the worst when it comes to keeping my nails done. And it's something that since I've been engaged, that I have to definitely make a stronger effort to do. Because when you got a bling bling finger, you need to keep your nails done. And as you can see right now, my nails need to be done because... I just haven't had time to go to the nail shop but since I haven't been having time to go to the nail shop um, I've been using these this combo right here and what it is is this is by Essie and it's called set on or set in stone I don't know if you guys can see that but it's just a glitter it's from the Lux FX line and I believe I got it from Target and it's just as it looks a clear polish with a boatload of glitter in it and it's so perfect because I just take this and I take clean nails and I just put two coats on each nail and then I take this this is my favorite um, top coat at the moment and this is the Sally Henson's gel shine 3d top coat I got this also from Target and I heard about this from our favorite everyone's favorite Nicole Guerrero and she suggested that you use this as a top coat and then you use the Sech Vite on top of this to dry it and it gives the nice Nice plumping effect of a gel manicure without going to the salon so I absolutely love this stuff and since I've like I said since I've been engaged this has been my combo because when it comes to polish I am horrible at putting it on and keeping it up as you guys can see but this right here allows me to fake it till I make it okay my next favorite is my lip combo now I'm always changing my lip combo like I'll like a set of like a lip liner and a lipstick or a lip gloss or whatever and I will wear it out until I'm over it and then once I'm over it I'll move on to something else but this right here is 80% 
and it is a lip liner. Um, yeah, it's a cream stick liner actually from MAC. Like I said, it's called 80%, and I'll show you really quickly. It is my usual favorite, um, what do you call it, liner is Cork by MAC. I don't know if you guys can see that. But I usually love cork, but I like to switch it up every now and then. And this one right here, it's like the same tone as my skin, but like two or three shades darker. Cork is like a shade darker than my skin tone, and this one is like a little bit deeper without going all the way to chestnut. So I really love this to line my lips. And then I take, what is this called? Sis. Sis is like a, how do you want to say it? Like a tan nude color. But it sort of has that gray undertone. And I know everyone's been raving over like Sephia and all the gray tone, um, what do you call it, lipsticks right now. This is more warm than all of those. And it's more of a nudie skin tone color. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's this one right here. But I love this combo together. And I'm actually wearing it right now. And I know it's not everyone's cup of tea because some people will say it has that ashy tone to it but I'm loving it and I've been enjoying it. My next favorites are brushes. Now I've always changing out my brushes but for a long time I've been using my beauty blender. Now as much as I love my beauty blender I'm kind of over it for a minute so to my surprise I found these brushes in my collection when I was moving and these are, I don't even know the brand, Image Essentials and these are like the old school, um, probably almost one of my favorite set of brushes ever. I picked these up from, where was it, Kmart over five years ago, maybe even like seven years ago and I loved these brushes back then and then I got away from them but lately I've been liking to just apply my makeup with a simple foundation brush. And it's a bonus that I have the, the big end and the small end because when I do my foundation, I like to um, clean up my brows with the same foundation that I've used on my skin. So I'm able to go around my brows and clean up and even under sometimes and clean up. And then I also have this one, which I use more so under the brows. So like after I'm done um, applying my brows, I take whatever concealer I'm using at the time and I just clean up under with this one. So I've absolutely been loving these combo. And then, and forgive me because they are very dirty because I've been using them all week. And then also with that, I forgot about this brush, but I absolutely love it. It's like a tapered brush. I don't know if you guys can see that. And this one is dirty as well. But this is the MAC 165. And I just use it very simply to clean up my under eye. So if I have powder baking, I like to be able to dust it away. And I also dust my nose, dust everywhere that I put the highlight I'm able to dust with this or dust off and apply with. So loving that. Primers. Now as much as I love makeup, I've never ever ever been a primer girl like ever because I've just never seen a need for it. But after having my son, my skin has changed so much and I just feel like I've always had large pores, but even now more more than ever like I have even larger pores and with him I don't have the time or the energy to touch up my makeup throughout the day. So primers come in handy to make sure that my makeup sticks and that it lasts all day and as well as that my pores um are as less visible as possible so um this one right here it's called the Nivea men sensitive post shave balm and it is just that it's a shave balm for men and you find it in the men's shaving section at target um i don't know how she discovered this but it is amazing and it's very inexpensive i don't remember the price but it's under 10 bucks it smells like a man, but I actually, I actually like that, but then at the same time, it's so subtle, and by the time you apply it and it sets, you don't even smell it anymore. But this stuff, I believe it has glycerin in it, which makes it great as a primer for your foundation, and it does. It holds my makeup together. It makes it last all day. It's very... It's not a cream. It's white, but... I don't know if you guys can see that it's white but it's sort of like a liquidy white creamy texture and like I said once you put it on it just looks like water and it dries on your skin the other two that I've been loving are the what is this benefit yeah benefit professional I got the small um, travel size from the little checkout area at Sephora and the reason being is 
like I said, I never used primer, so I didn't want to go and buy the big one until, number one, I was sure that I would like it and that I've seen a, a use for it. But there's so many other primers out there that I'm like, okay, I can buy this one, and if it doesn't do anything for me, I can move on and try something else without feeling like I've wasted so much money. So this one right here has actually a color to it. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's this right here. And when you work it in, it goes clear like everything else. But I don't even know if you guys can see that. But it dries to a matte texture. And I love this because this one is perfect for my T-zone. And I'm able to put it on and it smooths out my texture or the texture of my skin. And it actually does minimize my pores. So I love this stuff. And my last primer that I've been using is this is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I've used this before and I usually use it on my eyelids. Um, why I repurchased this, and again, I bought the small size of this as well because I was not sure how I would like it. But this is the anti-aging formula. And what I use this for is my under eye. So one of my biggest issues right now with my makeup and my skincare routine um, altogether is my under eye. It creases as soon as I put um, foundation on and my concealer, my powder on, it creases. So what I've been trying this out for is under the eye, I just take, after I um, apply my primers, I will take a little bit of this and just go under and under right where my um, where I have creasing and then I'll pat it in and just let it sit before I start my foundation and it actually does help to minimize my creasing. The problem isn't gone completely so if you know of something or someone who um, has a tutorial or something that can help me to completely diminish the under eye creasing please leave it down below. So the Mario Badescu Finishing Spray, I absolutely love this stuff. After I've applied all of my makeup, I just take and I just hold it back about this far and I just spray my whole face and let it air dry in and work in it. It does absolutely perfect at setting my makeup and letting it or allowing it to last me all day. So this I found at Ulta for about five bucks. The bit they have a bigger one. I don't remember how much that one is, but I purchased this just to try it. And of course I love it so I will be purchasing this again. And also I love this more than the Mac Fix Plus because to me the Mac Fix Plus it just feels like you're setting your face with water. It doesn't give me anything special I guess I don't see the hype with it even though I've been through like two or three of those but this right here love and last but not least Bath and Body Works I I love this candle this is my second one this is the Island Margarita by who is this Bath and Body Works um, my kitchen theme is green, this color green, so I originally picked this candle up in order to just decorate and match my kitchen, but I have fell in love with it. I left this on my vanity last night, um, unopened, so that I could, um, I compiled all of my, what do you call it, my favorites and put them on my vanity last night, and I left this open and I could just smell it all night and it wasn't even burning and it just smells so good. But when I burn it, it just, the scent fills my whole house. So I love, 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 love this flavor. So um, summer is almost up and I know that these things just went off of sale. But I'm going to probably go back and pick up maybe two more for the winter time. Because even though it's a winter scent or a summer scent, I just love it. And I don't know how to describe it. Um, there's a popsicle and a lime on here. But I don't feel like it smells like either. It's a little bit sweet. I don't know, I'm horrible at, at um, describing scents, but it smells good, just take my word. It says, a refreshing new twist of a classic cocktail and a frozen dessert arrives in bright notes of key lime, sea salt, and crushed ice. I guess that's what it smells like. I don't know, it smells good though, trust me, if you, if you haven't already smelled this one before, it goes out of season. Thing. These little clippies. Now I picked these up, I think it was like either a 6 pack or an 8 pack um, from, I think it was TJ Maxx, it was either TJ Maxx or Marshalls over the summer and I really 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 love these. These are my favorite clips because these actually, when you have extensions and they're thick, these actually do the job in holding your hair up. I don't know why or what it is but 
these things work the bomb so I don't know where you can find these I don't know if Target sells these or not but yeah check your local TJ Maxx or Marshalls I think it's an 8 pack and they're like $5.99 and they are the absolute bomb diggity let me show you guys how they work so I just twist my hair up and because I'm trying to demo I know it's going to be a fail but like I'm always pinning my hair up when I get to my son and every other clip that I own as soon as I put my hair up it falls right back down with this one right here my hair does not come out of it so it is like the bomb but I'll try to find a link for you guys maybe Amazon sells them or something but if not like I said check your local TJ Maxx and sorry because I keep looking at the viewfinder instead of looking here but that is all of my favorites for the month of August. I'm going to start doing these every single month. Um, I will put them up the last week of each month, even though this one is a little bit late. But thank you guys so much for watching. I am Ashley B. Deck, and I will see you in the next one. I hope this video was in focus.